let us continue playing Dungeons of Dreadmoor. When we last left off, we don't have any saved games other than Test Dummy, so we shall make a new character. Now I have a couple of submissions, so we shall be playing as... Actually, I'm going to do them the wrong way round, because um, the, sec the character who was submitted first is similar to my last one. And besides, I quite like this guy. So, we're going to play Promethean Magic Piracy. Yar. Uh, another Blood Mage. These two work well together, though, so that's fine. Uh, let's see, where are we? Necronomicanomics. Astrology. Uh, and then he wanted to trade what was going to be Emomancy for Viking Wizardry, so hail Odin. And then he gave me one slot, so considering all of this, we're going to take Lay Walker or Magic Training. I think. Possibly one more. Maybe something random. I think Lay Walker is probably the best bet here, and it worked quite well for us last time. The character is Sam McGee. Yep, yep. That's Muck. So, Sam McGee, you are entering the Dungeons of Dreadmoor. How well will this work? So, our starting spells uh, definitely Hex, uh, Bolt of Evil, Sap their Life Force if you're powerful enough, though. But my curse is the. Okay, so there's. There's a few problems there. Power of Magic Steel, uh, Tons of Lightning and Defense against the same, Radiant Aura, uh, Flash of Light, and of course, Dragon's Breath. We'll be making use of that. I am sure. Now, we didn't actually have any weapons, but we still have the Sacrificial Dagger. We have the Astrologer's Hat, and we have a Robe. So we can upgrade. Ooh. Ouch. Thanks for that. Maple Shield. Which gives us light cold resistance, isn't that? Well, that's not a bad thing to grab, actually. So, Anvil of Krong. We're going to improve our Astrologer's Hat. Which we put back on. Gives us uh, an extra point of sneakiness. Because who doesn't like sneakiness? Kimidor. No, nothing. One diggle. Burn. Alright, let's go for Deathly Hex. Okay, lingering weakness. Minor blood debt. Okay. This could be bad here. Let's... Eat food to regain health. Yeah, this is bad. We're going to eat the grilled steak. Meanwhile, burn please. Burn please. Alright, you're still eating. And you're dead. And after that. Alright, we need to regain some mana because I'm noticing our spells cost a lot more here. And I think that's because we didn't take magic training. Have you seen this large eyebrow person? We certainly have. Let's open the door. This was a bad idea. Oh, this is such a bad idea, I'm going to make a worse one. So... Hi. We dodged that. Lightning attacks. Not a lot of hit points left. We either kill him in this blow or we lose. Sam McGee, we're not having a good day. Let's open the chest. Yes, yeah, bash it open. Aluminium ring, which gives us two points of dodge 
chance, which... Yes, thank you for that. We can't really disarm that trap. Could pull that open. We really don't have a lot. Let's eat that. Let's eat that and sit here until our health comes back up a bit. Right. Open door. You need more men. Bring more booze. Yep, we're going to do that. We have no choice in the matter, really. You mostly survived that. And one more. Enraged Diggle as well. Oh, I'm in a corner. I still have the power of lightning, so I might be able to at least kill you. Monstrous Rage. No mana. Yeah, this is terrible. And I can't actually get out of this, so... I hate you so much! And I'm running away from you as fast as I can actually manage it. If there's not a door there, there better be here. Oh, darn it, that's locked. Diggle or Diggle? I way I'm gonna die to a Diggle. Sam McGee, I apologize I ran that quite badly. Should have probably taken a weapon or something. Sam McGee, Fortless Marriage, killed by a sickly Diggle on level 1. I really need to get back into using mages, but I suppose this now leaves us with the next guy. Going rogue, permadeath, no time to grind. We are playing an axe wielding, a dual axe wielding, sorry, berserking vampire of viking wizardry, master of the fungal arts, and also he's a dodger, wherever that's gone to. Artful Dodger. And his name is Eric Shroomkin. And we're back in the Dungeons of Doom. We start with some toxic resistance because of our um, poison stuff. Poison stuffs. And we shall go this way. Which leads us to a diggle. We're going to charge up our Odin magic. Berserker Rage and Lightning. Is there anything better we can do? Got a gem there. Obviously, we can't really eat um, Diggle Eggs, but I don't see any harm in not picking them up at this stage. Oops. And of course, Shroomification. Open the door, and we find the Eyeball Shrine. In the meantime, Berserker Rage Vampirism. Pull the lever. What did we unleash? We have apparently unleashed a spatial instability potion. We can't really disarm that, so we're not going to try. Mystical Portal of Mysticalness. I'll check that out in a bit. Huzzah for loot fish stuff. And one more. And in here we find a ring. So, door. Grog. Well, grog type things. Some cheese we can't really ouch. Yes, some cheese we can't really ouch.
Sneak attack! It's fortification, so we'll get something out of that. We get some mellow. Some bowlers we don't really want. We're gonna bash open the chest and get some thieving gloves. Which I assume is just going to increase our sneaky skills. Yep. And also one to our trap affinity. Which gives us a slight increased chance of being able to disarm them. One, eleven lockpicks. And some sorbery, because why not? And we can actually disarm that. And that, in fact, steel ingot. I'll leave the bullers there because not much point in taking them. Lockpicked. Where'd you go? Ouch. Vampirism. And level up. Dangerous go alone, take this. So. Drink corpses of their blood to gain unlife. I think we need to do that because that's a problem we're going to have initially. We could go for the slime herder. No, a drinker of a dead seems like a good plan. Huzzah! We can now make use of corpses. And drink their delicious, delicious bloods. And also we disarm that. is slowly um, draining from this effect, so we're actually going to turn that off for the moment until we've generated our hit points, and ow! Let's disarm both of those. Ah! Lolly! Charge up lightning. Yes, it really is. Got him. Right, got some health back. Ooh, and some libraries. Uh, plate armor. Powder of Ian Gansey and the maple shield. Okay. I know we can't... Uh, Special fungal liquor. Confusing spores. What does the fell truffle give me? Fell power. Alright. Need to kill you here. Got you. Yep, wait a few turns. There we go. Again, not much point in taking these, but heck. Might as well. Open the door. Diggles. Smash. Smash. Ooh, and that worked out brilliantly. So let's go absorb you for points and absorb you for points. And also another dig leg. Lockpicked. Sporification, Berserker Rage, and the fungal stuff wears off. Well, the smell of fresh liquor is probably a good thing, because you can probably use those for um, various stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, whoa! Okay. Don't know quite where you came from, but we're going to make sure that's still charged at the very least. And go chomp. And chomp. And shop. Right, we're going to shut down our um, magic steel for a bit and then go. Yom. So, overall, things going rather well. At least initially. And. It shall continue to go well, I think, because we're going to smash you over the head. Vampirism. Vampirism. Dead. Give me your corpse. 
Hmm. We need more men. Drink more booze. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's drink some of that. Charge. Vampirism, Berserker Rage. Charged. Done, you sickly diggles. I see you as well. Plastic ore. And we leveled up, meddling kid. So we can now go sparkly, uh, sap some of their life force because seriously. Keto for adventurers. Uh... Or we could go and improve our fighting skills somewhat. Just thinking about what we're getting later. I think that works out quite nicely, so we'll go there and start learning our um, dodging abilities a bit more. So, uh, let's see. That's nimbleness, which is a counterattack chance, which, not a bad thing. Going to pick up some plastic ore, and we're going to step off of the um, random stuffs. Don't want any of that. We do want the bronze ingot, and we probably want that as well. They're not the same thing? Yeah, they are. Alright, sort. We're going to put the prince back there. So, really, we don't have too much actually um, equipment that we don't really need. Get some more lockpicks, which are always going to be worth it. Get some grog, because grog. Lederhosen! Okay. Is that better than what we're wearing? Um. No. Still not bad though, we might as well pick that up. And we get some brass mechanisms. Some random brew stuff. I can't see what the trap trigger is for that. A wooden sword, a trap. Which we disarm, disarm. And a statue to our Lord Dreadmore. Smash. I should really stop picking up food, so you don't get things that way. Oh, another heroic vandalism thing. And another mushroom. And a pair of thieves gloves, but we already have one, so there's no need to get a second. I'm going to pick up sliced bread. Fruitful stuff. So we might want to pick up some fruit now. Ow. Oh, that's where it was. And we got the experience for it. And we go smash. And I see a potato. Let's actually shut off our... Um, lightning effects. And go... Ouch. Yeah, forget... Forget that. We need to kill you. Give me your bloods, we need them. And yeah, we're charging this back up. Drink some sorbrew, move on. Sneaky Assassin's Crossbow. And here we get a Potion of Radiance. Okay, this is gonna be awkward, isn't it? Right, we really need to kill you. Now taking a lot back. Berserker Rage. Got some health. Got some booze, actually. So, hazard there. And breaking open the barrel gets us some alchemist's um, stuffs. Really be on there? Not sure. I'm about to find out, I'm sh though. Ouch. Loot fish cube. 
and then I'm gonna switch. I should apparently just change the music. We're on to 20 minutes, so I shall end just as soon as we upgrade something. We are in fact going to upgrade our armor because I think we need it. Krong is pleased by you. And so adds uh Yep, yeah, so he adds a little bit of resistance to us. Next time we continue attempting to drink blood and kill things. Until then. <laughs>